I did something really stupid yesterday. I went to a clinic to see if I could uh, renew my blood pressure medication. And uh, people were coughing in the main waiting room. And I saw a box of uh, masks. I thought, oh, I better put one on. So I put one on. And after a few minutes of having it on, it suddenly dawned on me, like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell are these masks doing in a waiting room where sick people are going to be? You know? I just uh, found out today that uh, uh, my uh, Japanese-American friend, who I've known for 20 years, gosh, it's been 20 years, over 20 years, he's 70 years old, he's my best friend, well, I just found out that this coronavirus, this COVID-19, kills Japanese more than anyone and right now his wife is sick and she thinks it's the flu she's been bedridden for 36 hours he's fine so far she came back from Ohio with it I got on the phone right after I saw this Alex Jones thing. It just, it was the scariest damn video I've ever seen. And I said, I, I didn't want to tell him about what this virus does to Japanese. But I said, look, uh, try to get some colloidal silver. Uh, try to build up your immune system. You know, um, I, well, let me put this way to you. I'll be praying for him tonight. <laughs> Pain for him and his pretty little daughter and um, his wife. She's 62 years old. 62 years old, yeah. Anyway, I can't believe that they, <laughs> they have those surgical masks in waiting rooms. <laughs> Where people are coughing, and I so stupidly put one on. Well, if if I got if I inhaled the COVID virus from putting that damn thing on, um, I have right now <clears throat> two to four more days before I start uh, shedding the virus and becoming infectious. <clears throat> and uh, my mom is in her eighties. I'm going to have to uh, not show her any affection right now. Uh, I'll have to hug her from a distance just in case. Same with my brother. Yeah. Anyway, I have a hobby of exposing Islam. Uh, Asking Muslims questions to get them thinking. Uh, questioning the Quran. And I have a feeling right now that Islam is going to be the least of our problems after studying this virus. <clears throat> and I just don't feel like exposing Islam right now. Uh, I think things are going to get so bad. You won't be able to get food from out of the stores. People won't be able to get, people won't want to, uh, you know. Che the checkers won't want to check out your food stuff like that uh, it's gonna be hell <clears throat> hell on earth my phone went ring huh, strange and so I just think you know for me to expose Islam right now it'd be like being on the Titanic uh, the thing is starting to go up in the air already. It's kind of like perched there, and they're singing, Near my God to thee. And I yell out, I see a Muslim, I yell out, Hey, Muslim, uh, did you know that uh, 
the Quran teaches that the sun sets in a muddy spring, uh, that the, the sky is a, a ceiling that can fall on you if not held up by Allah, uh, that, uh, that uh, mounts are placed down instead of pushed up. Uh, now, did you know that Muhammad teaches that we go through a 40-day blood clot stage of embryos, And that's why Quran 96 is called the clot. That's how I feel right now in exposing Islam. Right now, I just want to pray for my f friends, even my enemies, and pray that they weather this thing. I don't think I'm going to survive it myself because when I was 12, I came down with viral pneumonia. Me and my mom, my dad and brother didn't, didn't, didn't touch him at all because they're different blood types probably. And uh, for two weeks, I was just in agony. Uh, it, was, it was supposed to give me walking pneumonia. Uh, viral walking pneumonia. <clears throat> Somehow, in between, uh, I was able to go to the doctor and um, get an, a chest x-ray. That's why I guess they found I had viral pneumonia. Uh, <clears throat> but, but after that, after the, the first, the second week, if I stood up, I'd pass out. I couldn't, yeah, it was just like, I was just... And I was... Well, I was, I was 12 at the time. Of course, I was pretty damn bony at the time. I was I was avoiding sugar and I think um, uh, lost a lot of weight. And um, there was just nothing to eat back then because everything had sugar and I was trying to avoid sugar. And the only thing, I, I didn't eat at all in those two weeks. All I did was just drink um, white Welch's grape juice. That's all I drank. And hot pineapple juice. That was it. <clears throat> And I felt horrible. And to go through it again, but with this time with, oh, I, and now that I'm, you know, over the age that it kills, I'll be very surprised if I uh, survive once I, I, I know I've got it. I mean, look, I think we all have it, you know. When this thing can uh, out, have you seen the movie called <laughs> Contagion? Came out in 2111. In 2011, um, that was that carried an R naught of four. Well, this is an R naught of six and probably more. That means it's in, that means everyone's gonna get it. The main thing is to me right now is to not expose as long. You know, um, probably what's gonna happen is during this Hajj, Muslims try to show how faithful they are that they really believe it, and they'll go to the Hajj. And they'll get the virus and spread it to their mosques and that'll be the end of Islam. And so why even bother why even bother spreading it? To me, the most important thing right now is to be right with God. And when you you know pray that you have the blood of Jesus Christ over your heart. Except Christ is your personal Lord and Savior. Uh, yeah, repent of your sins and and so when you do die, you, you don't end up in hell. That's what it comes down to it. Uh, I really don't care if it kills me. Especially if my mom dies. When, if my mom dies, it'll be like... I won't care if it gets me. All I care about is being right with God so I don't go to hell. That's the only thing I care about. Yeah. So anyway, I just letting you know that... Uh, and my hobby of exposing Islam has been put on hold, and it'll probably be put on hold for a long time now because things are going to be so much different now. The world as we know it is going to rapidly... Well, we won't really know until May 1st. Right now, millions of Americans could be dying from this virus right now, and we won't know about it even on... April 1st. On April 1st, I, I think the big April Fool's Day joke is that, hey, everything's fine, as your neighbor is passing out in the street. But by May 1st, come around, when May 1st comes, they'll say, look, now you know why there aren't any, there's any food in the stores. Yeah, that, now you know why this. Now you know why that. 
It's because the world as we know it has ended. And I'm going to say, hey, Muslim, did you know that the Quran teaches that ants can talk? Deaf ants can actually communicate through, through words instead of chemical odors? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that the on the Titanic yelling out? Did you know that the Quran has a Solomon standing dead so long that a termite or a worm eats away his staff and then causes him to fall, and only then people realize he's been dead for so long standing up? Wasting my time now with this. It's I'm wasting my time now with exposing Islam. What comes down to it. Uh, the main thing I think we should work on right now is getting right with God. And so when we die, we go to heaven uh, and avoid hell. Bye.